Hi, this is Kevin Chesso with University of Wisconsin-Madison Division of Extension and I'm out in our teaching and display garden here at the Spooner Egg Research Station in northwestern Wisconsin. And I just want to give you a little virtual tour of some of our uh, displays and some of our garden beds. It's the middle of July and things are always changing so we like to show off uh, what we're doing and let people see how things change as the season progresses. So enjoy our virtual garden tour. I'm just going to give you a perspective from atop the windmill as we go around this pinwheel bed. In most years these eight beds are planted to annual either vegetables or flowers and for many years it has highlighted and still does our All-America selection winners. So you can see all these beds are slightly different and uh, our Master Gardener volunteers have designed these uh, to have different looks, different arrangements, and different plant materials. So I'm standing in about the center of this bed and there are eight individual beds that we use for planting mostly annual flowers and vegetables. Uh, this has been a highlight for planting our All-America Selections display plants. So I'm going to just give you a little virtual spin around tour of some of these beds. So this one is mostly flowers. This one has been planted uh, to all vegetables. And again, many of these are All America Selection winner vegetables. Here is another bed that's planted mostly to vegetables. You can see you've got onions on the right. And here's some of those All America Selection winners and a sign to indicate that. We encourage people to take photos out in the garden. So this is just a sign to say, hey, take your picture. Here is another bed. This one I believe has an Asian theme. It's got an arbor. This is one that's perhaps our most elaborate and keep in mind that all these beds come spring are completely bare. They might be mulched in the fall for a winter cover, um, but every year these get redone and, and designed however Master Gardener volunteers would like. So again, this one has a lot of our All-America Selection winter flowers in them, as, long, as well as some other um, added features and one thing I find kind of interesting in this one, and see if I can show you that. It's a little gnome house. Here's another one that's uh, Again, designed a little differently. There's a mulched path of pine needles. And this bed is a combination of both flowers and vegetables. Again, a lot of our All-America Selection winners are featured in, in these beds. <clears throat> so you can see there's uh, kale, there's fennel, there's some tomatoes, different zinnias and petunias. Here's another vegetable bed, and it's got the little farmer market theme in the center. It's got some, looks like petunias, and uh, watermelon on the edges, and some okra, and then those uh, beautiful 
Conan kohlrabi. And one of the unique things about the All-America selections is they come out with really unique varieties that you typically don't see. These kohlrabi will be oversized and be larger than a softball and not be woody. So that's just one of the features of some of the All-America stuff. And then the last bed in this eight bed pinwheel is in the corner here and uh, again this is mostly all america selection flowers and got some creativity here with different buckets and containers so in another month this will be even more filled up with vegetation and color so this would be our pinwheel garden at Spoon Rag Research Station Teaching and Display Garden. <laughs>